volume and pitch decibel decibels abbreviated as db are the units used to measure the relative intensity of a sound for example how you have kilometers for measuring the distance you have decibels for measuring the intensity of a sound high pitch when an object vibrates very loud it makes a high pitched sound a high pitched sound is also named as a shrill sound the pitch of a sound can be high medium or low the higher the pitch of the sound the higher the frequency of vibration the pitch of the sound is determined by its frequency interestingly the pitch of a woman is higher than a man's pitch low pitch a low pitched sound is at the bottom of the range of sounds it is produced by low frequency waves and is described as deep and quiet low pitched sounds are slow vibrating sounds and are difficult to hear they can be described as making a low sound volume quantity or power of sound degree of loudness he turned the volume up on the radio sound level meter a sound level meter that's spl is an instrument used for measuring sound levels in a standardized way it responds to sound similarly to how the human ear responds and provides objective reproducible measurements of sound pressure levels the meter typically consists of a microphone for picking up the sound and converting it into electrical signal followed by electronic circuitry for measurement volume the volume of a sound is how loud or quiet it is a sound is louder when the vibrations are bigger a decibel is a unit to measure the sound these are the volumes of some everyday sounds very loud sounds that's louder than 85 decibels can damage our ears measuring the sound volume you can measure the sound in a sound level meter as discussed before the meter measures the volume in decibels the pitch of a sound depends on the frequency while loudness of the sound depends on the amplitude of sound waves sounds above 80 decibels become noise to human ears that means it's unpleasant The table below gives us the data for various sources of sound. First you can see the normal breathing has the loudness of 10 decibels. You cannot hear the another person breathing. Soft whisper at the distance of 5 meters. It's 30 decibels. Normal conversation is 60 decibels. Busy traffic where they continuously keep on honing is 70 decibels an average factory is 80 decibels above 80 is a noise pitch a pitch describes how high or low the sound is for example a whistle makes a high pitched sound thunder makes a low pitched sound slow vibrations produce lower pitched sound fast vibrations produce higher pitched sounds some sounds have such a high pitch or such a low pitch that we humans cannot hear them
For example, elephants use low-pitched sound that we cannot hear, but some elephants can hear these sounds 7.5 km away. Bats use high-pitched sound that we cannot hear, but other elephants can hear these sounds 7.5 km away. Difference between loudness and pitch. Loudness is defined as the property of sound which is used for differentiating between the loud and faint sound. Pitch is defined as the characteristic of sound which is used to differentiate between the shrill and flat sound. Loudness is dependent on the energy received by the ear in unit time while pitch is independent of the energy received by the ear in unit time. Loudness is independent of the change in frequency, while pitch is dependent on the change in frequency. As the frequency increases, the shrillness of the sound also increases. Questions. What type of vibrations cause a low-pitched sound? The pitch of a sound is determined by the speed of its vibration. Low-pitched sounds are produced by slow vibrations. What type of vibration caused a loud sound? A big vibration causes large sound waves that transmit a lot of energy. The resulting volume of sound is loud. For example, a balloon bursting or a dog barking. If the singers in the image at the start of this topic have to sing higher notes, how will the vibrations change? The vibrations have to change faster for higher notes. The singer has to sing with faster vibrations. Some of the singers make loud, low-pitched sounds. Describe the vibrations these sounds make. Loud sounds are caused by larger vibrations. Low-pitched sounds are caused by low vibrations. Let's learn the definition of loudness. Loudness of a sound increases with the amplitude of the waves. Choose the correct answer. The answers for these questions are given at the end of the video, so if you need the answers, please check the end of the video, but in the meanwhile, try answering these questions first. The loudness of sound depends on The options are displacement of wave, amplitude of wave, velocity of wave, and pitch of the wave. What is the unit of loudness? It may be easy for you to answer this question. The first option is decibel, the second is pascal, third is newton per meter, and fourth is Weber per square meter. Noise is classified as the options are below 50 decibels, below 10 decibels, above 80 decibels and above 50 decibels. Does bird produce high-pitched sound than lion? The options are yes, no, lion produces high-pitched sounds than the bird or none of the options. The decibel of normal breathing is, please choose the correct answer. 50 decibel, 80 decibel, 20 decibel, or 10 decibel. Now here are the answers for those questions. Loudness of sound depends on the amplitude of wave. That's option B. Amplitude is basically the height of the wave that goes up. As you know, the diagram for the sound waves is drawn with a few waves going up or down. So the height of the wave that goes up 
is nothing but the amplitude of the wave and it determines the loudness of the sound higher the wave higher the loudness unit of loudness is it's easy it's decibels noise is classified as the sound above 80 decibels does the boat produce high pitched sound than the lion it's yes as you know a bird has a higher pitched sound than a lion lion sound is loud but not high pitched decibel of normal breathing is it's option d that's 10 decibels